Natalia Bonner and Kathleen Whiting are quite the quilting duo. They both have both won awards for their work and have been featured on Motivate Shop and Quilt Maker Magazine and American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine and in books such as Fresh Fabric Treats, Modern Blocks and Sweet Celebrations with the Motive Bake Shop Chefs, Modern Quilts from the Blogging Universe. <clears throat> Please welcome Natalia and Kathleen and their new book, Cabin Fever. Hi, <laughs> I'm Natalia and I'm gonna probably get really nervous. So if you've been to one of my trunk shows, you know I'll talk really fast. I might have to take my glasses off because then I can't see you guys. But um, before I get started, every time I travel and teach or anything, everybody sits there and stares at me. And then when it's over, someone raises their hand and says, how old are you? So I don't care. I'm 32 and I have gray hair. And this is my mom, <laughs> Kathleen. And she's old enough to be my mom. And I do have an older sister. So I am a little bit out of control with quilting. I do it all day, every day, and my house is overrun with quilts. This is my first book. You might recognize me from this one. And then this is our second book. We collaborated on this one. And then this is our newest book. So we're out of control. All the quilts are huge. And we were able to bring 18 of the 20 quilts. That's why we had to bring our sleigh with us. <laughs> because you can get more bags if you have more people. So, <laughs> so a little bit about the book. I had this little video, but it didn't make it here, so I'll just tell you. Um, so I've had a few people already, and I knew this was going to happen when we came up with the concept for this book. They see the few pictures or quilts that they've seen so far, and they say, that's not a log cabin. The center block is supposed to be red. The logs are supposed to be one color on one side, representing the home, you know, the whole traditional thing. Why do they have to be that way? We like to break rules. I don't believe in rules. So these log cabins take the basis of a log cabin block. You start with a center block and you add logs to build it. Just like our homes have changed, probably not very many of us live in an actual log cabin. I don't. But because we kind of thought that idea, let's make our quilts like modern log cabins. So, we're gonna show the quilts, and I wish I could sit here and tell you the name of every single one of them, but because there are 18 of them here, I'll have to go through the book and tell you, and since I don't have a lot of time, we're just gonna show them. So, and we'll see if we can like walk around, you can take pictures, whatever. You can grow up them, I don't care. <laughs> I have kids. <laughs> So this one is called Jawbreaker, and it's a fun play on solid fabrics. They're great. Most of these we use a lot of solid fabrics because we know that people are going to see this quilt a year from now or whatever and want to make it exactly the same. Prints are going to be out, but solids you can still buy. So all the patterns in the book are written in three sizes. These are all the biggest size. This one is called Mellow. It's two different 12-inch blocks. All of the quilts in the book are 12-inch blocks. So just a fun play on my very favorite colors in this one. This next one is called Radiance, and it's a fun, it's a quarter cabin block, just adding the corners on the half square triangle corners, just give it a lot of extra detail. This one plays with a lot of negative space. So it's a really fun, super cute on like a little girl's bed, but make it in more different color fabric scheme and it would be super cute on any bed. Or make it smaller and put it on your couch. <laughs> <laughs> so this next quilt, there are three quilts in the book that actually all use the same foundation block. So that's what the little class pun is that you all got. This is one of the quilts that's made from the, the same foundation block. And so it's a great class quilt because you can teach your students the one blocks and then they can choose the three different layouts. The cover quilt on the book that's in the CNT booth is another one made from this same foundation. This one is called Cabin Keys. 
and it reminded me of a little maze, and that's actually what my kids got out their little cars and started driving them on it. So just a fun, maybe little boy quilt or whatever. This next one is a really, really wild play on a log cabin quilt. It's called Typhoon, and it's a great one to use print fabrics. It really shows them off. This next one is called Math Class, and it is one of the three that's made from that foundation block that you have the class fund for. And it's sideways, but it's okay. <laughs> but again, it's a great one to make from like a fat quarter bundle, or it could be made from jelly rolls. You'd actually have to have, I think, three jelly rolls to make it, just because of the length of the strips. But it's super cute, fast quilt. This one is called Outstretched, and it's actually the quilt that inspired the entire book. I was watching my favorite, one of my favorite TV shows, and noticed a chair in the background that had a pattern similar to this on the chair, and I just started drawing and drawing and got out of control and created more than 20 quilts. <laughs> This one's another super simple. It would be great to use, if you wanted to change the prints on each of the blocks, use a layer cake, but a super fast, great for large scale print quilt. This one is called Dilation. And you can see why. <laughs> Usually I tell you, like, when I do trunk shows, I tell all these funny stories about them. During this book, my mom injured her back and ended up having two major back surgeries. Ooh. But we still did it and made our deadline, so. Yeah, <laughs> this one's called Dazzle. It's a great scrappy quilt. This is about as scrappy as I get. I'm not a scrappy person. It's called Dappled. So the quilts in the book that are on point, you, the blocks, you do make them and chop off the points like really cheater way. But then you turn to the end of the book and I show you how to make pillows with the fabric you cut off. Do you want to do the giveaway while they're still showing? I'll show you that. They're okay. <laughs> So this one is a little bit more, you know, the reds and grays instead of the bright fabrics, but still really fun, cute twist on a log cabin. This one is called Barn Cabins, and it's really fun how the pattern comes to life with by rotating blocks. So again, it's a 12 inch block, but the rotation of it makes it look like it's strip pieced or something like that. That's my alarm reminding me to get my book from this class. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not. I cannot remember the name of this one, but it's another cute quilt. Just one more. This one you could really use prints and show off, but I wanted to custom quilt it and show off the quilting, so just another fun quilt. Oh, we have one more. <laughs> 